Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Today's episode of the Mike O'Mara Show is brought to you by our bonus packages. Please go to MikeO'MaraShow.com and click on the bonus banner. You'll get access to all of our bonus content, and even better, you'll be helping out TMOS. So please, quit sucking, and we thank you. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeO'MaraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. All right, as I look at my shot on our TV monitor here, I can safely say, okay, that experiment has failed. The experiment with uh, not putting product in the hair after washing, uh, not going to work. Not going to work at all. Uh, I disagree, this. Professor Irwin Corey. I think you look I'm good. Just, <laughs> I'm really crazy. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> 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 you, you got the board working hair. though. Yeah. Oh my God Almighty. Maybe okay, a hat. This is, let, let's be honest. It's not all product and uh, bad design. This is also Father Time, perhaps, as the wispy wispy no. is happening. No, no, no. I see all sorts of airlines. You know, no, no. you can't. You know, but you just said to yourself, you you can't let yourself go. Even with the way you present yourself. Yeah. And with the back, with the you better bl- check yourself. And with your show background gone right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I guess temporarily. Now you really know what's going on. Mm-hmm. No distractions. Yeah. No, I uh, yeah. The I, eye well, is no, drawn to is, the hairline and what the it, butterfly. What it is, uh, I'm expanding nightlight. the uh, shot. I'm gonna make it look a little bit bigger, too. and then uh, I get, get to it. see more of the abode. Yeah. By the way, I have room to dance too. Uh, no, no, I'm not expanding uh, your shot. I'm expanding my shot. My monitor shot. Oh, this is oh, really behind oh. the scenes. Let me I, I, let's end up with that. Uh, and by the way, we're live on the Facebook. Backdrop, by the way, with, with the uh, high Facebook. Yeah, we're yes. new. New. We're trying something yes. new now. Yes, it's live on yeah. Facebook with uh, TMOS. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, go to Facebook right now and uh, watch us live. I'm gonna and say watch hi. it. I'm gonna say hi to the Facebook people. Oh, let me see. All right, now, where, when you say, Mike, when you say you have room to dance, you're not going to actually dance today, are You've you? You've been blocked. No, Mike. no, I'm not going to, uh, to. I've been blocked. Come here on page. Mean? I've been blocked from my own page. Yes, because it distracts you from the show. No, you can't, stop that. Rob, you can't put your volume on while we're there. I turned it down. I know. It got there awfully quick, man. Like a dad move, though. I'm a dad. You are a dad. Father of two. You know that is true. You're dad. All right, hold on just a second. <laughs> just playing the time. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. Later on, I'll tell some now, puns. Dad, you oh, can't it's call right it. Right now, gr- we're two minutes and 20. You can't call it the gram. There you are. I'm looking at. Hi. Hey. Hey. Do you find that Oscar looks a lot more today on this uh, on this show? I'll here. tell you why. No, you look you look like you look uh, like uh, you've been road hard and put up wet. This is this bit. is uh, what happens, Mike. Might be the jacket when you're, you're building an enterprise <laughs> like okay. this. What's wrong with you today? Oh, nothing's wrong. wrong. Nothing. What, is there yeah, you know what? Right he's today? normally he wears a sport jacket. I just think he's wearing yeah, he's, like a that's slicker. What it is. He looks like he might <laughs> be in. It's raining outside. He looks like he might be. He looks like he might be in the. When you walk to work. He, he might be in the Irishman. That's what he looks like to me. Like a hitman? That's what it is. Yeah. I walk, hey, Maddie. I walked to Maddie, work today. Do, do quick cuts. Do quick cuts. Like, uh, cuts. What what Rob looks like. wonder what Oscar looks Hi. like. What, what, what Mike looks like. Sad. What what Rob looks like. Hi. What what Oscar looks like. Sad. What what Mike... Sad. I like the Facebook Live. It's I like fun. that a lot. Well, it's yeah. just like YouTube, right. Mike, but we're on I Facebook. Know. I know. It's I know. a different I platform. I know. I understand. What? Shut up. Uh, you, hey. were, you were saying. You were saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Mike, Hi. one has to wear a raincoat when one lives in a box. Yes. <laughs> Happy, uh, a box. <laughs> Did you wear that sweatshirt through the rain? Is that what you wore through it, the There rain? wasn't raining. What are you was, talking about? Raining. The streets are damp, but it's not raining. Oh, please. There's no falling weather. So I walked the got, same amount of wet outside. Oh, yeah. The, the well, f- by the way, the, when Rob gets to work and when you get to work are basically two different oh, things. I, when I, and when and I, I got to work, Mike, it was and August, I walked August to work 10th. Today. I was walked to work today. 98 and humid. <laughs> it <laughs> no. was a good 20 minutes. Why did you walk to work today? Because you thought that uh, if you took an Uber, you might get here early? No. no. On time. Wow, oh, that's two jokes in a row. Boom. Actually, Boom. They, they were terrible. You're better than those jokes. <laughs> I walked to work. I, I disagree. Said, I thought those were excellent I said, jokes. I, I should probably start walking places. Like this whole weekend, I walked places. It was nice. It's great for you. It's yeah. great yes. for you. Yeah. Uh, you know, the old men around here that are the fit guys, they're always out on the uh, street walking. I'll pack mm. less in my backpack next time, though. My Monday, uh, not a good Monday start today when, uh, you know, to the uh, Lee County Public uh, School System yes. uh, Transportation Department. Can I say S A D with capital letters Still? all the way across the board? Yes. Complete and utter. The school year is almost. It's almost half over. They should have this ready by now. 
Yeah, it sucks. I'm not happy. I can't have my face taken. Turn that off. This reminds me. Stop the music, Karen. So, yeah, today, I I told you, I got a little app, right, that tells me where the bus is. And it's inactive until he fires up the bus. And then it says active. And active is usually our cue to start getting the backpack together, getting him out there, getting him to roll out to the... And today, nothing, not on yet. Is the app... uh, Is it it linked to the bus? Is it it linked to the bus or to the the guy? This is what it looks like. Moth. But I'm guessing, does he have to turn the app on, or does the bus, does it automatically start? Uh, where's the bus? They literally called know. it, where's the bus? I'm not on the bus, the bus Rob. Genius. How the hell am I supposed to Well, because to if that's I another get task. Get on and do a sweep, like I'm some sort of a secret service wagon. agent. For well, that I'm just saying that if the app is contingent on activity by your bus driver, maybe yeah. the app is not your best indicator. Because he probably, no, no, if he forgets no, to show up, he's going to forget to turn on the app. Wrong, have you asked wrong. for his personal I number? I think it's automatic. Okay. Um, no. That's what I was wondering. Hold on, I yeah. have a protocol. I have a protocol that Ooh. I go through that I was instructed to do. Like the military. And by the way, if I did it every day the bus was late, yeah. I would be blowing up the uh, assistant principal with uh, with emails. Yeah. I simply waited today for the no-show, which okay. uh, you have to wait 20 minutes. Isn't that ridiculous? You have to wait 20 minutes One before third of an it's hour. officially. Think- uh, so the bus is supposed to come. You think what? I think you're doing everything you can as a father. Who cares? 639. 639. Why do I think you modified that? 639. Uh, and then God, that's did, early. You know, that's, that's early for a grown-up. He was going to say something provocative, and yeah. I didn't want to hear it, and he knew it, so he did a pivot. Mike, so the anyway, provocative comment God, must, That's when must... you know somebody, man. That's when you know somebody. Shut up for a second. 639, bus is supposed to come. 702, I get on the email right. off to uh, the assistant principal, who, by the way, as bad as the transportation system is, the school is that good. Mm. So it's, mm. a tale of, it's, it's a tale of two mm. entities. And she got back to me within, I think, an email response within maybe two minutes. It was spectacular. But, and then she wow. forwards it to the uh, transportation department and they go, <laughs> so long and short, no bus. Uh, what someone told me, I think a Midwesterner, maybe from the Chicago area, indicated in certain municipalities that would be a front page story or a, a mm. headline oh, news yeah. story mm. yeah. that bus is mm. not showing up here. La la la, whatever. And uh, look, I now that my wife's not in class and that we have two parents here, we right. can kind of roll with it. But still, <laughs> so what time does that? school start? What about start? the parents that have two working parents yeah, that are both going to work and they're sitting there and the bus is just a complete and utter no show? It's crap. what is it's on garbage. the cover of the Fort Myers Gazette today? I don't. Delicious, like stabbing, delicious or, oranges. Or meth rings uh, busted. No, no, no. Right. Uh, uh, what time but, does school start for little Michael? Uh, it, I think he had the latest he can get there is 7.55. 7.55. So, wow. Yeah. So that's yeah, a long. Absurd. It's, it's yeah. absurd. It's two He would have been on time for the show today. It's two miles yeah. to, to, to do that. It's yeah. two miles. It's stupid. It's It doesn't make. It completely Could gums he up Could he walk that, those miles? It, it's to. <laughs> make the boy uh, walk. Well, there's a kid that goes to the high school, rides his bike through the neighborhood every day. We see him zipping out there but here it is it's just not it's accepted and when i called the tv news station which i did when this was a problem said yeah it's been a problem for years yeah i love that don't you love that when it's like yep yeah. uh-huh do no you need think, to call, do you think no the need high to hold school anybody's guy, feet to the fire on this the high school guy can put michael on the handlebars or is it on no, the he's way going to a pegs, pegs. he's going to a different school but it might, it might be on the way is what on i'm the saying way. Yeah. no no stop it's there you not, go kid no, hold on tight on hold head. on tight here's your helmet but the, you're asking me what? Well, let me see. I've got the uh, Gazette here. Yeah. Oh, good. Right. Uh, three principles of TMOS absolutely wowed by 10th anniversary greetings over weekend. Oh, that's so sweet. That's it. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, um, look at that. Look, I didn't get a chance to read uh, every post that was uh, written about this show. I posted my own, and I will say um, that the ones that I did read were uh, just... Just affirming, man. I mean, just amazing yeah. to to read the kindness that we 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 just came off getting our yearly shot of adrenaline in Las Vegas, and to read the things that people were writing, in particular the one that I always hear from, where you know you're going through a difficult time, and we got you through it a little bit. Uh, Love it's, that. Uh, it is a true way of uh, of getting up in the morning and 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 doing what you do. And I, I meant what I said when uh, the last. Uh, ten years of my career, and I've had a good career. Uh, You've had a fantastic was, career. Was 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 really really special to me because it's just that intimate 
gathering. And uh, I, I don't know. I think it. I think it helps everybody. Yeah. I think it helps all of us to just come in and know that we do something, even in a small way, that matters to people. It's so awesome, and the articulate comments yeah. that people made, and the kindness, and who just, knew? You know, it's really terrific. It makes me. It makes me really, really uh proud to be associated with this and so uh don't for one second think because i don't go through every individual thread and every post and like them all that i didn't read some of them and i know what the 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 majority of people are writing and it really was i think i i well i said it in my post i speak for all of us where yes it's really great to be able to do this for you and have it so appreciated and i think the longer it goes the more that becomes part of it what changes are the bonds between people who listen and become friends and those relationships become, become longer. And it was just, uh, it was really a delight to, to read that. You know, I, I have no business being my usual grumpy self. I know I have been Carla, uh, but, uh, you know, you that's you're a keto house now. I'm keto. Yeah. Uh, you know, we got a contract on the house. Mm. Hey, that's great. But you know what? That's Your not house a done on deal. That house. That's uh, on the new uh, okay. the house that no, I mean the house we're selling. Woo! Our house. Oh, that's even better. So, Over yeah, the but weekend, I mean, holy ass. Uh, yeah, yeah, Friday. Damn, full yeah. freight. Or you're after like, after eh. I was after I was showing my eggs. Now, with that said, now you go into a holding pattern. Sure, you can't show the house, uh, but uh, you know you got to wait until they show you everything. theirs. Uh, uh, they it's, show me. It's, I'll it's, show you it's, mine. It's, yes. it's nervous time. Yeah. And I have a, you know how I am, DGH, that's Ooh, my life. inspection I have time. A, I oh. have trouble getting through all of that. What's yeah. this? Because I believe Crayon. in I never, never get happy, you know? Right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So we'll What are we'll they going to find happens. under little Michael's bed? Uh, you know, nothing. Nothing. The way oh, Mr. Meyer has this casa. No, yeah. no way. I will say this. that um, Don't let the inspector go barefoot and step on a Lego. I, you know what? I all I know is that you're you're assuming this house eat off the floors, baby. That's the way. Yeah, this but I'm house saying one Lego that he steps on I that'll know. piss him off. One mm -hmm. one little Lego, one the, little uh, two dot Lego. Carla was asking me, you know, why so negative? <laughs> I said, all one because the, because it's not just the the trying to sell it. It's that even when technically you have uh, had a contract ratified mm -hmm. on a house. There's so many moving parts yeah. that are that, yeah. are that go along with it, and a real estate transaction is done when it's done. And I know you, know you that one of the most frustrating things, and we share this trait, when something that is going on that's out of your hands, something you can't yes. control, that's the mm -hmm. most frustrating because it's it's you know you really don't like to cast it's faith. Las to win. It's like Las Vegas style gambling. It is gambling. Would, I think I can uh, enlighten everybody to my state of mind. Would you like to know what I've been surfing last night and this morning? What I have been watching. Ooh. Just randomly watching mm. on YouTube, just for just for my own. I'll say it, okay. I'm not proud of it, but I'll say it for my own entertainment. Yeah, Baltimore Ravens highlights. Oh, I'm going to lock no. in, it, Mike. No. I'm going to lock in an okay, answer. Let me change. And then okay. you Go can Chiefs. reveal it. Uh, oh, that was against the Patriots. Tom Brady's uh, career over. Um, uh, no. Okay, no. I've locked in my answer. Um, I'm ready Oscar, for the would you reveal. Like to write down an answer. Uh, yeah, you'll sure. never get it. Sure. You don't even have to bother if you don't want to. No, no, I'll write that on, uh, on, on, on my piece of paper that Rob just gave me. Yeah. Thank you. All right. First of all, what did Rob say? Well, no, I, I, you oh. have to reveal before mm. I say. Oh, it, well, you're not going to get it. Aborted takeoffs. Oh, darn oh. it. I went with faces What's of death. What's that say about my mindset? <laughs> I went with faces of death videos. You can, no. read, you can read no. mine. If you don't what, mind. what is uh, I was what what Oscar say? Oscar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can't even. Oh, kittens. Kittens. He says you. kittens. Nah, I wish. <laughs> No, that's furry my kittens. mindset. Furry that's kittens. my mindset. But upside right down, he handed it to me. I thought it said Snetelk. <laughs> <laughs> He's not got the best penmanship. I wrote no, it with my foot, Mike. You know, it, it's it's just uh, I I don't know. I I think I handle all the day to day issues as well as anybody. But I think I could be definitely more of a, a positive individual. Know. I've taken good no, news. No pain, no gain. Managed and managed to make it bad news. No, no. This is a piece of good news that is not complete yet. And no, so you're you're exactly. one step closer. But right. I understand what you're going through. It's, Fifteen it's, days from yes. the time they ink it till the time it's Fifteen really days, efficient. Jerry. By the way, they can still walk away. I just would get a sure. big chunk of cash. Who's this new that's, couple? That's what it, I don't know. I don't want to talk about them, Oscar. Oh. That's, that's uh, you know a Mr. and Mrs. Pence. 
Uh, oh. Yes, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Penn. Very. But you know what brought me uh, joy over the weekend? Yes. Uh, and we'll talk about it in great detail later was uh, FaceTiming with Rob Spiewak. Oh, we had a great oh, call. I didn't so think sweet. you would really do it. And I had so and much fun showing off for you. That kitchen is is killer. Yeah. Oh, immaculate and, uh, and wonderful. And I, what I a production you, the cycle. Pictures, the pictures you showed me of the outgoing. And by the way, the ones that you made this weekend, do they go out right away? Is that where? They will uh, be going out this they, week. Yeah. yeah. This mm-hmm. week. Okay. So they go out right away. And On it's just. Demand. Uh, they, look, they look so yummy. Nummy. I wish you could have smelled it in there. That. Oh, my God. Uh, well, we'll get a complete review of uh, of your kitchen experience. and uh, Kitchen that, kitchen. That's right. Uh, so to my, my the listeners of this show yes. who were nice enough to write to all of us about uh, the 10th anniversary of what we were doing and how much. Uh, of a part of your day, the great two best things that I hear, us uh, being on when you were going through a difficult time, and the people that have formed friendships uh, long distance and gotten together and now are fast friends. That is the best. That is absolutely uh, the best. Do we want to grow? We always yes. want to grow. Yeah. And and this is a good time to remind everybody that uh, about Cat Twenty Twenty. There, there. <laughs> How's it's that happening? going, by the way? Uh, Cat 2020? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Cat 2020. Working you... on the venue as we speak. Ah, really? Ooh, yeah. That's me. exciting. Yeah. He hasn't even told me, me yeah. about that. Yeah. So I'm excited. Yeah. So uh, for those of you that are, uh, you know, participants in this show with us, uh, we're always looking to grow. And so I love it when we have newbies that have just been on, uh, you know, on the show bandwagon for the last year or so. And more of those. Let's get more of those yeah. because I'm beginning to be convinced by our listening audience that my insecurities are unfounded. That this oh, truly is no, a no. special program. There's, but you must always of, keep those insecurities in check. There's a lot of check. hate out there, Mike. Please keep them oh, in there's check. There's a lot of hate. No, I got the thing on Reddit where the guy says, yeah, so uh, Mike was complaining about a service industry employee there. That's unusual. Hey, Mike's repeating himself again. I'd like to, those people, I would like to reach through the computer, pull them out, and get their <laughs> nerdy asses yeah. in my living room and kick it. Go on, kick it good. Go on, you, like you, best, good. you best go kick it, kick it good. Kick it, yeah. kick it. I, can I just, not to be ne- negative, but I've no. been in no, that mode. No, of course not. So for the individual mm. to say, do you, and I, I'll ask you this, Oscar, because I think you're better at looking from the outside in mm. than any of us because you've analyzed it over the years and you really compartmentalize it in a way that I'm I've, incapable I of doing. I have found failure so many times in my life that I've realized mm-hmm. what it's like looking outside. Sometimes looking it finds you. Yeah. Let me ask you this. So so this is interesting. When, when someone will be so filled with hate for me mm-hmm. uh, and this show that they will form a, like a, they will go and register on a site, mm-hmm. they will actually, you know, continuously, almost like it's a job of theirs. Yes. Uh, post, post things yeah. that post uh, horrible things, not really horrible, just snarky, nasty, yeah. things. unsavory things. I just uh, sometimes I'm like, there, there's a lot of stuff that I don't like, and I've got this show to come in and bitch about it. But usually, at least the way I roll, is that when I get done bitching about it, it's kind of gone. Like the bus thing, it's yeah. over now. I'm not, yeah. you know, let the chips fall yeah. where they check. When someone is doing it every single day, well, of course, I'm doing the show every day. I'm just really always fascinated by what the cause is. Could it be a personal mm. snub of some kind yeah. Yeah. that mm, results in that? No, it's it's the this form of radio. This form of radio. Ever since mm. I was I was younger and I was I was a listener. Uh, it attracts the broken. That's what it, what it is, and. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're part of them. That's like, we are the broken. Yeah, but still. So yeah. sometimes the broken don't make sense. Sometimes you'll take time and register on a site and then start a thread because you love the show so much, but you're so broken. Absolutely broken. You're, you're like, I got to tell people this because this is going to start yeah, to oh, That's right, because they're listening. Yes. Yes. Every day. Yes. And look, I'm broken as well. Yeah, we all are. And they don't have the forum. They don't have the mass communication forum of our podcast. So they have to go to a show. website. And that's how they have to get their broken well, thoughts out. Well, I know the out. nuts and bolts, Rob, but I'm saying the motivations. The motivation are, are is is broken. Bad wiring. That bad seems capacity. Awesome. Why yeah. do hot 22 year olds act like? And these are female or male, whatever. Uh, oh we, come on, we know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, man. Hit the alarm, Rob. We know what he's talking oh, about. It's, it's bad. Da, 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 da. Why do Thank they you. not realize the power they wield when they're 22? 
that they could take over the world with whatever God's given them, but they don't know how to take advantage of it, and they waste uh, it on bad relationships. Because power is we, offset by we, no uh, wisdom. The butterfly. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. That's what? my new thing. You were Boy, tickling the butterfly? Yeah. yeah, why don't we... You Why had it. You had it. You did have it. You ha- oh, there. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Well, we the- oh, the elusive uh, butterfly. Nightlight. The butterfly. Sorry, that was for the video uh, subscribers. We're broken, Mike. All of us. We're You're broken. broken. Yeah, Rob's that's broken. What it is. I'm broken. We're lucky mm. to have what we have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then uh, that shoots my my theory all. I mean, the think hell about, about it. We, we, you had a, you had a we employed. Yeah, I'm trying to get to it, Rob. No, he's. He's in the way today. Sorry. He's By the way, you yeah. asked him. You asked yes. him a question I on something was, that he genuinely I, cared about, so he's tuned in. I thought I was killing it. Yeah. For that one minute. Yeah. What were you saying? I thought we'll I was killing again. it. That's what I. But go, go I you, what, you, you disagree. Yeah, you're killing it. I said we we employed <laughs> we employed uh, Pony Boy. The unemployable. We're broken. Right. That's no, right. We're great. Oh, shut up, Pony. <laughs> you're half right. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. And uh, well, it's not the theory I had. Really, Mike? What was your theory? That it's just people that owe me money. Ah! It's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned. Hold it. We're not standing all right. No, no, stop it. Start it all over again from the beginning. All right. I'm sorry. I hate to do this. Uh, sorry. Sorry, KCJJ. Yeah, uh, oh, that's all right. We have to do it all over again because I messed up the punchline. All right. I got sidetracked. Okay, do you want to do well, the setup and then I'll feed you the setup? <laughs> yeah, sure. All By right. the way, this does. I do not want this edited. This of course not. not. Yeah. No. We're that's live. a good point. That's a good point, Oscar. For life. Yeah. Uh, so the what I was going to say is, uh, you know, I have a theory about where these threads come from. So you're saying, David, that you have another theory. <laughs> yeah. I think all these nasty threads are people that I owe money to. <laughs> It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Better. You can listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. We now return to Twas the Night Before Christmas, as read by Norm MacDonald. Twas the Night Before Christmas. Wait, wait, twas? What's Twas. Is that short for it was? What kind of rush are you in, man? You can't just say it was. Oh, you saved a lot of time there, fella. Oh, don't come at me with that it was stuff. I got things to do. Got to get down to the donut shop. You know, two days ago, I was at the donut shop, and I said, hey, donut guy, you got anything warm back there? He says, try the fritters. They were. They were? What does that even mean? They were. You must mean twer. The fritters twer warm. What's that? We're out of time. Oh, I'm fired. The only country that really worries me is uh, the country of Germany. I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not, but uh, <laughs> in the early uh, part of the previous century, Germany decided to go to war. And uh, who did they go to war with? The world. <laughs> That had never been tried before. <laughs> and uh, so you figure that would take about five seconds for the world to win, but uh, no, it was actually close. <laughs> they had that guy, shkankly, kankly, that guy, and I'm not even going to dignify him by saying his name, but I think you know what I'm talking about. But you'd think at that point the world would go, listen, Germany, here's the deal. You don't get to be a country no more on account of you keep attacking the world. What do you think, you're Mars or something? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. We are live from the Podcast Village studios in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This is the Mike O'Mara Show all the way from New Brunswick, New Jersey. So many New Brunswicks around. Yeah, what about the old ones? Well, How about the, some uh, love for the old Brunswicks? The the, uh, the New Brunswicks are in Canada. There's yes. a whole, like, yeah. province. Mm-hmm. New Hampshire? I sounded like North McDonald. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole province in New Brunswick. <laughs> yeah, what, I'm fired. <laughs> Isn't he from Canada, too? Isn't Norm McDonald from Canada? I'll find Jay out. Canadian? I don't think he is. Langley, Langley. I hope not. Miami, Florida. There's a nice city. Elk Grove, California. Coos Bay, Oregon. Hey. <laughs> wow. Bedford, New York. Uh, and Kong, Ireland. Kong! <laughs> On a Beware summer Kong! Kong. 
he is Canadian. I saw a guy. I saw a guy posted wow. from uh, Kong. Uh, what's that? Confirmed Canadian. Yeah, confirmed Canadian. Yeah. So, so he cannot Norm be McDonald trusted. Was a Canadian. Mm. Uh, the show today brought to you by Hims. Here's a fact: sixty-six percent of men start losing their hair by thirty-five. I'm not balding yet. <laughs> Why did you write that for me? <laughs> I am balding. Well, you're no, thinning, but no. you're not balding. Well, no, I mean, but if I'm 35 and it starts falling out, I'm, I'm a little concerned. It could happen okay? at any time. It could happen at any I know a man, uh, my, my friend, who started losing it in his 20s. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you've seen yeah. those guys. Drab, uh, and, drab t-shirt. That's true. Drab yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is he completely bald no, now? No, he's is getting he, there. Uh, confirmed. He's getting there. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not safe from baldness. Anybody. Isn't that right, Rob? <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, it's 2019. Medicine and science can help you do something about it. This year, secure the best deal of all, a healthier, thicker hairline. Yes. How about that? Let's do it. Uh, HIMS, H-I-M-S. HIMS helps guys be the best version of themselves with FDA-approved products. The best part, there are no awkward in-person doctor's visits. Answer a few quick questions online, and a licensed physician will review and determine if a prescription is right for you. I highly recommend you check out HIMS before it's too late. Right now, our listeners can uh, get started from uh, with 4 Hymns Complete Hair Kit for just $5 while supplies last. Go to 4 slash TMOS. That's 4 slash TMOS. Prescriptions are subject to doctor approval and require online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. See website for full details uh, and safety information. Get involved with Hymns. We need a real close-up of Rob now before it's too late. Nah. Take a look at Rob's hairline. Yeah, my hair is the only thing I got that's thin. There it is. Yeah. Or maybe turn up the volume on your board on Monday. <laughs> Monday. You turned it down Monday. at the end of the show, and then you came in. Monday, Monday. All right, before we get to uh, Oscar's review of uh, a really, really good restaurant in Washington, D.C., right. and the Todd Moore farewell dinner, uh, we need to take time, Oscar, and recognize uh, our man, Mr. Spiewak, and the Spiewak Kitchens oh, yeah. uh, in full, in full, Full yes, yes, yes. operational mode this weekend with tons of people just moving ingredients and uh, and putting stuff in mm. the pot and making it up. Well, but the name first names and what? Yeah, what? Go ahead. Name names. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. I want to thank my crew. Oh, yeah, I want to thank right. my crew. Um, yes. We had Matt Ponyboy Bloom. Woo! We had Madeline Massiello. Matty. We had slow down. Uh, slow down. Make it milk it. Milk yeah, it. Milk it. it. We Start had again. okay. Right. We had Matthew Ponyboy Bloom. Woo! We had Madeline Massiello. Woo. We had Maddie's boyfriend, John. Woo. We had the lovely Shannon Z, Woo. Mrs. Zabios, Shannon Katie. We had my stepmom, Kathy, who is fan. Oh, that's so sweet. Dahlia, the intern, came by Dahlia on Sunday. Schmeier. Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia did. Yes, Wonderful. absolutely. Dahlia. And Mike, my MVP, Pony, I think I'm only we got the one guy left, right? Mark Twitch Riddell, oh. who Twitch showed up early and stayed so till closing nice. both days just because he's a good, Shannon good, good guy. Was saying his praises. Oh, he's amazing. And he's a, Did you take Twitch out for a nice cocktail afterwards? I will. No one wanted a cocktail at the end of either day. Yeah, <laughs> we all just, the long just day. wanted to go days. home. I understand. Uh, I understand. The first day we did about thank you, Twitch. 12 hours. The second day we did about nine yeah. hours. Yeah. And it's, thank you. And thanks to the system that Shannon has pretty much put in place, I came into the fruit caking with pretty much a recipe and a procedure, mm -hmm. but Shannon put it into a system so that all day something is being done at all times. If it's not baking, it's mixing. If it's not glazing, it's cleaning. And the whole thing is... A we put the system on trial. The problem with making fruitcake, the hardest part of making fruitcakes is not the making of the fruitcake. It's, well, I know, he doesn't care. Um, no, he, I he, said a proxy. I said my wife. Care. No, I'm not yeah. saying that you don't yeah. care. But, but the fact... I would, I would have loved to have been there. We would have loved to have had you. Well, I was at the other business. I know. I, know. I understand. Business, so but gotta feed the family. I didn't really mean we wanted you there. I no. was just being pleasant. You know, Shannon said it was so funny. She goes, it's less tense with you around. And I'm like, what do you mean? To she you? Goes, yeah, but she was kidding. Because oh. when I'm around, for some reason, I am the tense one. How is that even possible? I'm well, like, I'm the, the nicest guy you're, around. You're the recipient of something that I get all the time. Uh, yeah, that's what you said to me over the I years. I know, but that's why I thought you it was more so, than anybody. I thought it was so strange because she said, "No, no, no, no." Like when you're wiring and pushing stuff around, like no, nobody wants to be around you. I'd rather be baking cakes. Yeah. Huh? So I was like, "All right." But we've got a great crew. I'm very, very proud of them, and it, it needs to be said, Mike. There's an old motto that 
a bad start is a good finish. Ooh. All right, so I FaceTime with Rob Damn. on Saturday. And, Saturday at uh, about noon. And Damn, actually, Delia. by the time that you got us, it was a really good time because we had gotten into the groove. I think we had had a batch and a half done already. Yeah. And you see, one thing I wanted to say is that the baking of the fruitcakes is really only about half of it. Because then there's the glazing, the packaging, mm-hmm. the wrapping, and the boxing. Ooh, That's the glazing. The glazing. Yeah. 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 Ah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, came over to help you with your glaze. Smithers. <laughs> Smithers, would you glaze my fruitcake? But, uh, all right. but the baking is, um, that's where you're moving the most product and you're weighing. and Shake and bake. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on. So you uh, call look, us about You are me. a positive guy. And you, you and, it, and even if you're not positive, you you put the positive front up for everybody else. So As the really bakery manager, Mike, I think it's part of my job to keep a positive attitude in the bakery. So I don't know how bad it was, but I thought about what you told me that happened early in the morning. And when you told me this, I thought about it. I thought about one particular aspect about it when you talked about uh, the disaster. Yes. That uh, ha- now, do you have a crash sound effect? I, I, I do, as a matter of my... fact. Uh, right. yeah, so tell tell the the audience what happened. By the way, Saturday is officially baking day. That's when it begins. That's yes. When we break open the doors, day. right? And and we bake those delicious confections that are going to go out to the world. The world. And there is weeks right. of prep that lead up to this because you know. All of the ingredients have oh, to be yeah. in place. All of the uh, the licensing and all Spice this has to bombs. be done. And as you recall, I Talk think to I the spoke county, to last, licenses. I think I spoke to you guys last week that on Wednesday I went into the bakery and did an inventory of over one thousand pounds of fruit and nuts yes. and ingredients. Incredible. Now had to be restacked, yeah. everything set, ready to go, and actually more than last year, right? About about fifty percent more. And so I I went to uh, Costco on Friday to get eggs and oil and Mm. other dry ingredients Mm. that are best bought not online and got everything together and i'm going to get to the bakery at eight on saturday morning and i asked the staff to be there at nine because i want to make sure things are in order turn the ovens on takes a while for the convection ovens to come up to heat you're also the general of the day exactly so i get there at about eight eight oh five and I open the door, and I don't use the uh, front door. No. I use the loading bay door, the big yeah, double door. That's doors. how we can get in that yeah, the room. Well, yeah, because the other door, Mike, is just a standard width. I don't want to have to walk in sideways. <laughs> that what you were going for? <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. Okay, that's how you phrase the joke, by the way. Uh, do you have a loading dock door so, uh, that I can use? Please? I open up, and the first thing I see is I said, oh, did we get another delivery? Wait, why did they move my boxes? Because they said... They said they're too heavy. They didn't want to have to move them. And why are they on the... And why is there a big... Pu- oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God. Between the closing of the bakery Friday night and my arrival on Saturday morning, the table, the heavy-duty folding table mm. that's used to... Because you always store your ingredients off the ground. See, that's now you're code. using two words that normally don't go together. What's that? Heavy duty and folding. No, this is. You know what? I take this back. This right? is a, no. This yeah. is an industrial. No one, ever, no one ever said this is an industrial strength table. This is. Well, this let's, is, let's, let's does it fold? Before we, before we go on, because I didn't do the portable. Was I should say. Portable. You know what? I should say portable. And what is it? A canasta table? It is not. Do a the canasta. legs fold? Do the legs fold? The legs do fold, but that wasn't the issue at hand. I know, but I'm just trying to get to the bottom of. What caused this disaster for you on Saturday? So when I began to realize, I looked over, and the table that was at one point parallel with the ground, the table was now in two pieces. Why is it so loud for me and no one else? Because you have... But you know, a good crash... You like them loud? loud. You like them loud? I like the crashes loud, yeah. Bear with it, Snowflake. It'll be okay. Um, <laughs> I've got young ears. So then How many I, pounds of uh, stuff was on that table? Just out of Well, it wasn't all 1,000 pounds of stuff, but I would say there was probably 500 pounds of stuff on the table, which if you think about it, if you, I guess perhaps I taxed it a bit, but- it Well, was, who was responsible for putting the stuff on the table? I, I put the stuff on the table. Oh, okay. but, but you know what? That was our storage space that we were allotted, and that's what I had to use. So Could I- put it on the floor? No, you can't. They gave store, it to me. You, I ate it. No, you can't store food ingredients on the floor. That's against oh, that's code. That's right. That's the. Oh, yeah. See, he knows that. He went to class for yeah. it. Right. So, the thing that really, as I'm looking around, I said, "Well, I guess nothing's broken." There were some gingerbread houses boxed up on the table as well. They survived the crash as well, which is great. Let me ask you about the table again. Yeah, please. 
So uh, if you were to look at the table <laughs> yes. and say, turn it over yes, and see a sticker on it yes, because it's industrial, do you yeah. think it might have a capacity on it? It might, but you know what? Okay. I did not think to check. But you Let know me. what I know is that last year I had roughly, roughly the same amount of ingredients. Same. And right. because this was the ingredients less all the other stuff that yeah. I had brought in. So I assumed not a good idea. I assumed it would be okay. And it wasn't. Okay. What were you going to ask? This after? table is commercial grade. Right. Would you stand up on this table? Which table? This one? Yeah, here? this one right here. Well, no, because you'd yell at me. No, no, but. You'd say, hey, f- big fatty, fat, fat, fat. I'm Get just, off the I'm, table. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> there's got to be a weight limit on something, right? Sure. Well, yeah, everything yeah, has yeah. a weight limit. Yeah. Well, 500 pounds is is, yeah. is amazing amount of weight. Yeah. I would I would have stand on, I would have stood on that other table, that the folding table. You would have? Of course. Yeah. Was it metal? It was metal braced. Oh, there was a, a, a oh, oh, metal brace is not right. a metal I folding don't, table. Listen, I want a picture of that table. Yeah. Oh, table, I want a table, photograph. The table is gone. I wa- what do you mean it's gone? It's in the dumpster. It's gone. Are there any tables that are similar in the kitchen? Uh, I think there is the one. The one that we replaced it with is actually a longer version of the same table. There's a six foot table. We get a, can we get a second witness, maybe in the control room, that saw okay. the table? Well, Pony saw yes. the table. And you know what? I would compare it to. It, it's like the lunchroom tables that you would find at a school. It it didn't seem like it would necessarily hold an enormous amount of weight. And, and I'm looking up just like your standard folding table, and what I'm getting here is 300 pounds max. Oh, <laughs> whoa. So we might have overdone it. A bit. So we might have, we might have. But you know what? As always, like when we started food caking last year, we've yes. learned a lot. And we keep learning. And that is that, part of absolutely. life's journey. Yeah. That's cool. That's you were exp- the one thing that stuck with, stuck with me all weekend was when you talked about... Well, I'm, uh, I want to tell you what. As I began to survey the situation, and the saddest thing of all is... You I'm, said that you didn't lose that much stuff. No, but I'm standing there looking at it, yeah. <clears throat> and this is a big commercial bakery, nearly 5,000 square feet mm-hmm. all told, and I'm by myself. The lights are off. Oh, I'm just there first thing in the morning, no. really brimming with a positive attitude because I really sure. feel like this is going to be the year that we're going to start and hit the ground running knowing what we're doing. Could it be done in one weekend? Could it be done? It might be Maybe. done in one weekend! And then I look and I see that some of these boxes that had been so neatly stacked and organized are now actually, they appear to be standing on their tip like a diamond. Ooh. And I said, and what's that puddle? <laughs> that shimmering well, puddle? That's a tease. We have uh-huh. to take a break. Yeah. We're going to find out we what the puddle is. And no, it's not Rob Spiewak's urine. I, Mike, when no, I saw no, the no, crash, no, 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 I'm afraid no, no, no. I released. There you go. <laughs> we will come back and uh, find out what the puddle was. <laughs> it's one of our better teases ever on the Mike. What Harris is show, that shimmering puddle? In <laughs> harmony. <laughs> Every single hour, a Mike O'Meara show intern goes to bed hungry, tired, neglected, and worst of all, unpaid. Every time you subscribe to the Mike O'Meara bonus show, one of these interns has the chance to get a paycheck, to pay their rent, to survive. Will you be an angel for a poor, helpless TMOS intern like me? Get the bonus show today, and for just pennies, you can save a TMOS intern. Johnny, are you still talking? Don't you realize being here is payment enough? And where is Oscar's bagel? Jesus. (laughs) Jesus. <laughs> Johnny, Thank not at the much. bakery. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't invite him. Clacker. <laughs> uh. Hey, everybody, this uh, portion of the program is brought to you by Stamps.com. When I talk about Stamps.com, which, by the way, is pretty relevant to what we're doing right now. Oh, my God, oh, yeah. Uh, I always wonder who in the world still goes to the post office and why. Stamps.com brings the post office right to you. Anything you can do at the post office, you can do at Stamps.com. And with the holiday rush approaching, Stamps.com lets you steer clear of the holiday hassle. And particularly down here in Southwest Florida, the post office, uh, you know, customers that uh, drive their Lincoln MKZs. Oh, yeah. Sure. Be aware of that. Uh, Simply use your computer to print official, (laughs) excuse me, U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter and package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Then... Hand it to your mail carrier or drop it in a mailbox, and it's that simple. With Stamps.com, you get uh, five cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. No wonder over 700,000 small businesses already use Stamps.com just like us. Don't spend a minute of your holiday season at the post office. Sign up for Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with the promo code TMOS, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial. 
Free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMOS. That's Stamps.com. Enter TMOS, Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. So when we left uh, Rob Spiewak in the commercial kitchen, he was standing in front of a puddle. Alone. Yeah, all alone. And I do believe at this point, I just have my fingers laced and they're on my head. I, and I've seen you sad before. And look, a sad Rob Spiewak is a sad Rob Spiewak. It was really, it was. With it the was, silhouette of the Bombay doors open behind you. Yeah, open those Bombay doors. Bombay, hey, not the, Bombay. the French. Yeah. Not the French hey, hey, Pony. Yeah, no Bombay. <laughs> Time for morning constitution. Hey, yeah, buddy. Uh, so. Yeah. I look and I look and the boxes, none of the boxes have busted open. Now, there is some goo in the fruit because it's glazed cherries, glazed pineapple, stuff like that. But inside the cardboard box, they're double wrapped in plastic. So none of the boxes are leaking. So I start moving. I said, what is this stuff? And I pick up a box and I see that the puddle is connected to the box. And as I pick the box up, even up to my head level, six feet, there's a shimmering line of goo. Mm. And I realized that a 50 pound box of cherries, due to some amazing bit of luck, it probably couldn't be recreated on a Hollywood soundstage, has landed squarely on a one and a half gallon bottle of corn syrup. Ooh. Now there's some sticky stuff when you make yeah. fruitcakes. Corn syrup. Corn Ew. syrup is <laughs> earwigs. Ew. Ew. There is yeah, you nothing might remember worse. <laughs> that Rob Spiewak kitchen corn syrup. Ew. Now it's I know that last, last year we had an oil spill. And I think that vegetable oil was probably the worst mess that we'd ever have to clean up. And Absolutely. I was, it was really bad. How did the spill happen last year? Well, last year, uh, Mixer error. Yeah. Uh, three is high, by the way, on a professional grade mixer. Yeah, we thought that was the time. That was the speed. Yeah, it was. It, so when we put it on three and hit start, oil went up like. I don't know if you've ever made, seen the, the James made Dean with movie. with love. Mike, if you've ever seen the James Dean movie Giant, where they have the surprise oil gusher. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, that was the kitchen. With, how about we go with There Will Be Blood? Also good. Yes, yes both the good. Scene. How yes. about make it contemporary? Yeah. yeah. No one's seen Giant, but a lot of people have seen There Will Be Blood. So I'm looking at the corn syrup and. The thing is, it's not just corn syrup. It's corn syrup that's been oozing out and sort of drying for an evening. So any sort of liquid nature to it mm, has been diminished. Yeah. And so I think, how am I going to, what are we going to- It's gonna, lost its viscosity. Yeah. And so Great I get- word. I get like a piece of cardboard and I said, maybe I can scrape it up. And I just push it with the cardboard, and it just changes the shape of the puddle. That's all that happens. There's no getting it. I can't like... So it's like toffee? Yes, it is tar or toffee or something of that really sort of like the blob. It is like a monster movie. Can you movie. peel it up? No, because it's still a little bit liquid. Well, like in Creep Show. So I get a second piece of cardboard yeah. and try to like do a squeeze method, and right. all it does is come up and out. It's just, there's mm. no grabbing it. And, and yet, you're like floor level, so this has got to be On yeah. my knees. Don't like getting on my knees, because that means having I to bet. get up off my knees. Not right. great. So by this time, Riddell comes in, Twitch, and bless his heart, he says, well, what's happened here? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy just to see another face. <laughs> and I'm like, Someone competent, please. <laughs> but- he is, he's excellent, and um, the cleaning is sort of tabled for a second. We okay. have to sort of back burner uh, can it. I just inter interject you guys? I'm so grateful to people like Mark and Mark Shannon is good and yes. Tony and, uh, and everybody. And, uh, Addie, and Kathy, Dahlia, Kathy, you know, Kathy, my stepmother, yeah, who Addie. loves coming in Really, there. guys, thank you so much for doing that. It's not unappreciated on my end. I know that this is all done for this show, and really, thank you, thank you, thank you. I probably only stared at the corn syrup for about four minutes before Mark showed up, but it felt like a lifetime. Because right. I'm really just trying to figure out what we're we going to do to clean this up. Because all of this has to be handled before we can even begin mm -hmm. the beginning of the mm -hmm. fruitcaking. Because mm -hmm. we haven't even, my car still has eggs in it. I mean, we haven't even unloaded the car Are you concerned that by yourself, physically, you would not be able to successfully clean this up? 
No, I could have done it, but it was nice to have a friendly face. Where Mark came in handy is we were able to sort of bucket brigade to get the boxes restacked because the boxes had fallen and ro- yes. rolled around the room. So we got the boxes out of the way, wiped them as good as we can to get off the corn syrup. There were some other items like a chair and some baking tins that got corn syrup that yeah. had to be cleaned. But then once we got Hell's everything kitchen. out of the way— it was Hell's yes. Kitchen. We still have the puddle. And I would you say. You never put 700 pounds of ingredients on a capacity table that can handle 200. You moron. You effing moron. <laughs> and then the other guy says, <laughs> We want a stainless steel bar. <laughs> Take your jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> so when all the stuff is restacked and cleaned, we get the table out of there and we look, there is probably, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, a four by five foot puddle of corn syrup mm. just spread thin over the floor. And I figured out the only way to really get it up is to pick it up with my hands. Oh, like pick it up like this, like, like pinch well, it up. No, pinch sort it up. of no, scoop yeah, squeeze and hold it. and drop. Scoop, hold, drop. Is and it a clean break from the floor, pretty much? Or no, is, no, it's no. leaving residue everywhere. But I got to get the majority of the gallon and a half yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. before we can even think about mopping. So right. I get most of it up. <laughs> Poor thing. This was this Poor was dear. The, this Saturday was morning. The worst. <laughs> it's now about 8.30, and I'm, I'm <laughs> remembering Ghostbusters when Bill Murray when said, he gets slime. He says, I just feel so funky. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like and it is so sticky that i mean it's i can't even communicate i can't touch anything i'm looking down my hands are because it's corn syrup on the floor mm-hmm. everything that's ever had a bit of dust a speck of dirt is all stuck to my hands and so we get it up we find out we get the. i do this i go wash my hands for a ten, pretty appetizing yeah picture, you know you're really selling us here oh this is not the coin this is miles away from the okay, ingredients yeah, folks you go and surgically uh yeah i go and i surgically wash my hands where the cardboard is and all the exactly and the heavy duty tables and are. so we get the mop and or, we start cleaning and the mop Sticks to the floor. The soapy wet mop sticks to the floor. I go like a swipe, yeah. and all the hanging this bits. This is of like me. this is turning into peanut butter. Yes, and so can you just light it on fire and I'll just I go gonna, away? I was going to burn the bakery down and collect the insurance. <laughs> so the only thing that's going to really move that is probably heat of some kind or a chemical. Actually, you know what? It, I tell you what. If you spill corn syrup, you know what cleans it up. Dawn dishwashing detergent. Oh, the be all oh, and all. Oh man, the Hot greatest mo- stuff in the Just world. Just like those little uh, the, the, the world. little birds when the Exxon Valdez broke Precisely. open. Precisely. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Dawn for it. It's, it's an incredible product. Hot Probably water someday and dawn. it'll be meant to kill us all, but uh, it's okay. Well, Hot Water and Dawn eventually got it up, and we got the floor clean. We got another table down. Got By the-, the way, fantastic singing group in the early 1970s. <laughs> Hot Water and Dawn. I <laughs> like that's after Tony Orlando, right? No, it's before. Oh, before okay. And then Tony, Tony came in and fixed hot it. Hot water right? and dawn. Hot, yeah, water. hot water, unfortunately. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> boy, that was an alcohol problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead, uh, Rob. I'm sorry. So then we get the ingredients us restacked. We get a new table down. Mm. We get everything mm. organized. I'd say we started cooking. I wanted to start at nine. I think we started probably a little after ten. And we had a very successful first day. I don't want to wow you with numbers, but I did tell Mike we got nearly 600 cakes made the first day, which is an amazing feat. That's second great. day, and don't give the totals. Don't give the totals because that's how all right, we sell. Okay? All right, but I'll I just say I know you do, but I mean uh, you know we're very very excited about uh, the potential. Of I will say all these that cakes. we uh, record breaking totals, and we that's had a very successful wonderful. day. Can I ask you a question. Sure. I, I, when when you are or when you I guess uh, getting. Uh, hours and baking done together. Do you right. have a, a minimum? You're like, if we do this, then maybe we'll do this. Because last time it was like three weekends of baking. I had, I have a mental plan Has of what we need. system improved He's on it this itself. time. He's on it this time. Well, also keep in mind when we started last time, we didn't know what potential we had. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm. This is a legit question. And so I actually went back on the notes that Shannon took and the notes that I yes. took, and I knew where we had to go, and we have surpassed it. So is there we, room for improvement. Always. Okay. Yeah. So for you example, improve, you improved from last year, like yes, a lot, right? Yeah, a lot. On your but first weekend, even with the even with the corn syrup uh, debacle, yeah, but the you, thing, you, you, like, there's room for improvement. Like, How does McDonald's make sure that the little burgers, just like in that movie, are the same all the time? Like, how do you do that? Because people. We measure twice everything. We are very precise. We the one of the best things that I can say if you're baking on a big scale, you don't want to measure by as a rule 
cups and ounces. You want to measure by weight. Oh, wow. Weight is important. Every fruitcake is oh. identical in weight. Pony's like job. the cocaine game. Pony is a scooper, and he I've makes heard. sure that every, to the gram, oh, no. mm-hmm. every cake is the same size. Oh, grams, huh? Because very, very detailed. Very, very detailed, because you know what? Even a, a variance of 10 or 15 grams of cake, they will bake in different rates. And so. He's your detail guy? I watch over him like they're like a hawk. <laughs> With like numbers? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Every cake is identical. What? And, he, and also, he's. Are you kidding me? He's never they alone. Give the number responsibility to the captain, the guy that used ADD. They show his picture in the dictionary. He's never alone. He always has someone. Well, he Was always. Was his mom there? Did Glenda mom, come by? No, Glenda did not come by. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you doing? But All you know right, what? Dude. Actually, the only I understand. The numbers he knows is the 80 milligrams he takes every day. I understand right. your thought about that, but know that he proved his skill last year as a scooper. And this year, he and uh, he had varying Oh, he's partners. done it before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and right. so, and, no it's, and it's also, it's all not, right. we're not making him solve anything. No. I understand. It's just he's weighing fine. things. He's going to be fine. He's going to be a okay. And Pony's he's a joy beloved. in the kitchen because, you know, it's something that is so communal and fun is baking. I love a guy who keeps earbuds in. <laughs> it's exciting. Very exciting. Uh, you only hear the same hey, Pony. Times. I said, yes. hey, Pony, can you, what? What? No. What? Okay. <laughs> Yes. Good way to do it in a room full of communicators yeah. to have earbuds in. Yeah. Mm. Oh, broken. You're right, Oscar. Uh, anyway. If he wasn't uh, scooping, back- I had another job for him, which was to lay on the floor and cover the corn syrup. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Did you get it all up? Yeah, oh, it's cleaner than when we got there. Absolutely. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, it, well, keep me posted. Congratulations on a great weekend of baking. Thank and you. Boy, oh boy. Love my workers. Those fruit cakes going to be in people's tummies for Christmas time. Yeah. We're very excited about that. When we come back, I am having trouble doing the show today. I have a left leg problem uh, due to uh, animals here in Florida. Oh. And I'm going to tell you all about this. Oh. This is horrible. Horrible. I have to get it off my chest. I wanted to wait till tomorrow, but I'm not going to. We'll take a break. Come back with more. This is the Mike O'Mara Show. Have a heavy bath. Have a bath. Hey, how's it going, my TMOS <laughs> friends? This is your boy Tomo. Hello, you top. probably haven't heard from me a while because I've been deplatformed. <laughs> I've been censored. Yeah, that's what happens when you love this country. They just uh, cancel culture you. Yo, well, the good Yo. news is TMS is still spreading the message that the mainstream media wants to hear. Today's show is brought to you by foodprepper.darknet. They may have de platformed us, but you still need to eat. All right. Well, if you need me, I'll be down in Florida in my bunker. Yo. Yep. I, I didn't think you'd play it. All right, yeah, well, we did talk. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Noom. Getting, getting in shape isn't just about losing weight. It's about changing habits and feeling better about yourself in every way. That's why I love Noom. Noom is a habit changer. It's great. It's a habit-changing solution that helps you develop new relationships with food through personalized courses. Noom knows you're human. No food is good, bad, or off limits. If you go off track, there's no shaming. Just tips on how to help you get back on track tomorrow. Thanks to your goal specialist and the Noom community, you're never alone. My favorite part is that Noom has a great food database available. Literally everything at a glance, food tracking made easy. Oscar loves Noom. Yes. Carla's never yes. looked better. You don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. Carla does look better. I saw that picture with Dirk. Why did it yeah. have to be next to Dirk? Sign up for your trial today <laughs> at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash T-M-O-S. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom dot com slash T-M-O-S to start your trial today. That's Noom dot com slash T-M-O-S, the last weight loss program you will ever need. Yeah, an amazing uh, photo uh, on online this weekend uh, with Carla with that big old sexy top thing she was wearing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she's next to... Ugh. Uh, with his tuxedo. Uh. Well, he puts also, the, he puts also in sexy, time, right? though. He puts in the time. Yeah. I know he does. Yeah. You know? it's uh, yeah. I don't know where that picture was taken, but I certainly I certainly wasn't around. <laughs> uh, hi, Dirk. <laughs> Welcome back to the uh, Mike O'Mara show. Uh, I'm not jealous, though. No, I'm why? Jealous no, no, no. And why body, would you know? be? Yeah. All the pictures of me are like, uh, I think I'm that. Then it's like, uh, you know, get a picture next to Dirk. <laughs> 
The beauty! The beauty comes from she's, her she's soul. Glowing. Yeah, glow. Positively glowing. She was glowing. Like yeah, she had a yeah, dirt beautiful. glow. I yeah, it's like, you know, I mean, what happened to that picture? Suddenly Carla's face is Happy. Maybe not tense. Maybe it's from uh, what he put in her drink. All right. So rolling out a very unusual weekend for me. Yes. I played golf. Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, so I hit a crappy shot on an easy hole, and I go left into the grass, and I'm almost out of bounds with this shot, and it's a short shot, and it's an easy shot, okay. and it's a shot I should make, but it's mm. a shot that's been challenging me, and I'm pissed off. But fortunately, my ball does not go out of bounds, and uh, this has happened to me now twice on the golf course. The guy says, you're in bounds. Put your finger on the ball. I point at it. They look at it, the uh, out-of-bounds stakes, and I'm in bounds. So I get How the, close is it, shot. though, to being out of bounds? An inch. Absolutely. So that's a really lucky break. It's a lucky break on a ridiculously short hole, too. There was no business I had making that crappy shot. It was really bad. So I go into this rough, and the rough is about this thick. It's thick Bermuda rough. It's very, very chunky and thick. And I'm standing in this stuff for about 45 seconds to a minute, and I'm trying to take a little practice swing. And then I finally hit the shot, and it's a crappy shot, too. (laughs) And so I, I don't play the hole well. But about the time I get up to the green, I feel this mm, like that, and I know what it is. And down here, it's now happened to me twice, mm. and it's fire ants. Oh, no! And fire ants suck so totally. Fire ants are the worst. Mm. No, they're tiny. They're like, teeny, 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 And they're tiny. red, right? Yes, they're, they're red like, fire no, ants, hate to and they're sound like Larry here. King. And they're because red, right? of environmental restrictions, they are not... Uh, I think they are treated once a year, and <laughs> ants go marching. Hey, everybody, Great how song. you doing? Mike O'Meara off to his ankles in grass. Didn't realize there's a giant fire ant nest right under that thick grass. I don't see it. I'm standing there with my old man legs just getting torn to crap, and I don't even know it. I'm an idiot. Hey, play golf. It's lots of fun in Florida, everybody. He wakes up. Uh, nailed it. Uh, and did, I, did I hit the space? Perfect. Oh, Perfect. wow. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at these do not look like fun. Jesus Christ. Uh, Here it is. I think I got two bites or maybe three. All you need is one. And let me tell you what what happens with these. With these fire ant bites, they linger and then they welt up and then they weep. And then the oh food. god! And Gross. you scratch so much that uh, I've got a, I've got like a, a leftover mark from where I had one like a month and a half ago, ah. and I got another one this weekend. Wasn't and, there uh, a George Harrison song? It's weeping. Oh. While my guitar gently moves. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, just a second. Oh, yeah. nice oh, crotch shot. Us. Wow! That, oh, that is your crotch. That's not safe for work. That's a category. Facebook's <laughs> gonna get us. Can you see? That's your no, foot. You wearing socks? Hold on. Oh, no. no, I'm not. Kind of weird. Somebody, what somebody want? This is like a Rock horror film. Sign. This is terrible, man. Oh, I see oh, it. Oh wow! Yeah. What are those shoes? Slip-ons. Sketchers. Oh come on, Mike. Better that's than Sketchers. One, that's one tiny baby fire ant. Shape ups. They shape that's ups. One tiny baby. They're not. You guys get off the shoes oh, for Christ's right. sake. I was looking at the wound, Mike. That's enough of the moose. The wound. I was All just right. looking at the, the wound. Your weeping wound. Wow. Oh, you're back. Hi. Hi, Hi Mike. Hi. How are you? Oh, yay. I like how the camera adjusts and it no longer looks like you're in 1890s <laughs> Inter- London. Interrogation. <laughs> Tell us everything about that. I don't know shoes. anything about it's the fire ants. I don't know. They just so anyway, bit me and rolled. Be careful. They're Do you nasty. Feel it? Do you feel it pain. when it happens? It's not pain. Yeah, immediately. And yeah. It's, a, it's an itch thing. It's an yeah. itch thing right away. And the poison... That it's not that the itch or that there's amazing pain. It's that it just lingers. It lingers. Yeah. Right now, I could just tear the skin. I could tear the skin off my legs right now. It's just so nasty. So you're going to go back terrible. to wearing socks? Huh? Uh, yeah, socks on, you, you wouldn't be bit. Uh, that, well, that's true. Especially right? if you uh, right you had socks that were some sort of anti-ant sock is what you would need. Perhaps soaked you with wear, cutter. You know, I actually never asked you this. Do you yeah. wear golf cleats? Oh wow! I never thought. Not doing the show. I'm wearing. Skip. No, no, but no. no I'm I saying, meant he meant all the time. Without socks. Can I also say that we socks? are in we we are in a depleted fashion situation now with the house on the market. Okay, though we got a lot of stuff in storage. So okay, we're keeping a very lean closet. That's a, what was the what was that? What stops for? What you that? with socks? 
Socks, I'm, I'm going to put the socks on when I go out to, uh, you know, hit the egg again sometime. Okay, but you were so wearing you packed away socks. All, you packed away all I was your wearing tuxedos? socks, but okay. I was wearing no the, see socks. Oh, no see them. Oh, see, I like that no about show. you. Look at you. No oh, show. And you know what? No That's another bug that'll get you is a no see them. Thank you very much. We're going to take a break right now. I Every appreciate time. all the sympathy and the support. Much appreciated, gentlemen. Hey, let's play a little holiday music, shall we? Yeah, fantastic. Have a happy holiday season. Screw you, fire ants. <laughs> da, 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 da. are here it's a special time filled with friends family shopping cooking wherever stale tv specials and breaking up the lights it's enough to make you go stark raving mad but there is help presenting the tmos holiday complaint line finally a chance for you to bitch to your heart's content on the mike o'mara show at 1-888-920-MORE we asked the yes. listeners what they wanted and we listen. <laughs> Call now and let her rip. 1-888-920-6673. It is our holiday gift to you. The TMOS Holiday Complaint Line. Because if you ain't bitching, you ain't breathing. Mm. They're coming man, in. Man, oh man. All that fruitcake talk. I want to get fruitcakes. Mm, I am so ready for them. Rob was showing me pictures after they were all done. Oh, delish, delish, delish. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. This segment of the program brought to you by Zappos. Yes. Tis the season for internet shopping. Don't be a Grinch. The solution is a cinch. <laughs> all you need to do is lean back, relax, and visit Zappos. You want shoes? Funny you don't look shoeish. <laughs> but it ain't just shoes, baby. They got it all. Oh. Zappos is celebrating 20 years of the absolute best customer service and a selection that is unmatched. Thanks to over 1,000 trusted brand names, Zappos.com is able to help millions of customers create long-lasting wardrobes that they love. No matter what good it is, Zappos. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No matter what, Fire get it and poisoning. <laughs> Gifts for everyone, even yourself. We just ask that you support us both by accessing Zappos through our website. All right? That lets them know that we're looking out for them and their partners and all that. As always, Zappos.com provides fast, free shipping, free and easy returns, 24-7 friendly customer service, and a 365-day return policy. Thank you, Zappos. You make us look good through the holidays. I'm moving a lot of paper around. Yeah, here. sure. Sorry. Papers, the Thank papers. You. Thank and you. The and beyond. We need through to the see holidays. Your, see your papers. Be, what? We need News. to see your papers. News. News. Just shut up, everybody. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, boy, our listeners were into this. Sesame Street legend Carol Aww. Spinney. Yeah. Died yesterday. Okay, you don't need to punctuate it. I knew you would. It's, it's yeah. sad. Yeah. Sad. All right, the, the big, big bird died. Yeah. Big, the, Literally the person Big Bird. Inside, the, the person inside of Big Bird. Uh, Carol Spinney. Well, is it a man, Carol, or a lady? Man, it's a man. man it's man's a man, baby. Uh, man's a man. He, he died yesterday. He was 85. There's no word on cause of death. Maybe that he was 85. I think it was bird uh, flu. Uh, but his family. Too soon. Is way it? too soon. Is it? Way too soon. His family said he'd been living with a movement disorder called dystonia from uh, for some time. Spinney was the Muppeteer behind Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch. Do we know that? Mm-hmm. Half a century he did that. He was with the show when it started in 1969 and only retired last year. He actually stopped getting inside the Big Bird costume in 2015 because it was so physically demanding. The head weighs five pounds, and he had to hold it up with his right arm while working the mouth and facial expressions uh, with his hand. That sounds like it's a bit taxing. Well, if you look think. at the bird, the actual pup, Muppet, I guess it is, it's it's wild because, yeah, his face is like wow. in the body. And his yeah. hand is right around. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mike, and uh, you can, know that you, rec- of course, recognize his who's voice. Who's got the biggest feet you know? Who's got feathers from head to toe? Who's the fellow who's all yellow? Big Bird. Big Bird. He uh, <laughs> he continued providing the voice until his retirement. That was retirement. shoehorned in. <laughs> he won uh, five Daytime Emmys and a Lifetime Achievement Award from the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences. He was also the subject of a documentary in 2014 called I Am Big Bird. This guy got a lot of notice yeah. for this. 
And As you wanted, he should, Mike. He changed a lot of lives. And you mentioned he was also the voice of Oscar the Grouch, right? Yes, he was. Yeah, right. so do you have Oscar? Yeah, I do. Oh, wait a second. Oh, you got me with that. Hey! You got me. Well done. Come you did on. that. Congratulations. 16 days. 16. 16. 16. 16. Ah, cancel. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Here he comes. Only got 16. Uh, hello there. Hi there. How about Christmas? Have you done your shopping? You better get busy. I have here a Thanks sneaker so that's uh, Here's a morbid fact. Spinney was invited to fly on the space shuttle Challenger as Big Bird in 86, but the idea was scrapped because there wasn't enough room for his costume. The Challenger exploded 73 seconds into its flight, which is a, it is wow. a morbid fact. Thank you. When E.T. super stud Henry Thomas was arrested for driving under the influence in Oregon this past October. Is that the kid, the little yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Elliot. He, ref he refused. This Elliot is all grown up. Uh, he refused to take a breathalyzer or field sobriety test, so they hauled him in and gave him a urine test. According to a police report, cops heard Henry peeing, but when he handed them uh, the sample cup, it was completely clear, filled to the brim, and not warm at all. So they think he filled it from the toilet, hoping it would help him beat the test. Uh, <laughs> in, in the end, uh, in the end, it didn't really matter because Henry took a plea deal, but it's pretty funny. All set here. Here we go. You think you're making it a little yellow. You know what I mean? You might as well hand him like a glass of sun-kissed orange soda. <laughs> Isn't that a funny story? I'm on blood is. thinners. I don't know. Yeah. Top of the Elliot. bowl. Elliot, <laughs> we should do the bowl. Well done. Uh, it's the end of an era. Snooky Polizzi oh. uh, has quit Jersey Shore. The original show ended its six-season run back in 2012, but she is three seasons into the follow-up, Jersey Shore, We Can't Get Any Other Gigs. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> it's Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Ah. Uh, on her podcast, welcome, Snook. Uh, she said, quote, I can't believe I'm saying this. You guys, I love you so much, and I don't. Don't hate me for my decision, but I have to do what's best for me. Uh, I'm retiring from Jersey Shore. I'm not coming back for season four. I just can't do it anymore. Uh, like, literally, leaving my kids to film is really hard on me. It's really hard not having any dialogue to memorize and just being stupid with the camera rolling. Did she also provide a clear, cold urine sample? <laughs> <laughs> I try and quit every single day. I don't like partying like three days in a row. It's just not my life anymore. And I want to be home with the kids. Snooki did say she is not done with reality TV. Oh, Thank God for that. But at 32 years old, with three kids, uh, she'd only be interested in a silly, lighthearted show. And Jersey Shore has become a nightmare of drama and negativity. Well, this will okay. give her lots of time to help the kids with their homework. <laughs> <laughs> myth? I don't do myth. Myth? Uh, there's a point in your 30s where you realize your body doesn't handle things like jumping, running, sleeping, digesting, and burning off on healthy foods and recovering from hangovers like it used to. Like we used to. <laughs> and uh, now scientists have figured out when and why that happens. And this is a sad study All right. for Uncle Mikey over all here. Right. A new study found that our bodies don't really age gradually at all. The research found that there are really three ages where our bodies make a big shift Ooh. to their next older stage. And those ages are 34, 78, and 60. What? Hey, you wait a second. Yeah. You're sneaking up on one. Are you seeing me okay on the uh, camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah but what changed yeah. when you were 34? Uh, 34? I Probably Wives. Uh, probably <laughs> joints and joint problems and that type. What did he say? I missed wives. what he said. He said wives. wives. <laughs> you know what? He doesn't get credit for it. He set himself up for it. Good, very good. <laughs> but, uh, 60. But well, so you, well, you well, guys, uh, on it. Yeah, you know, you slow down at 34 and then you really slow down in 60. And then at 78, it's like, hello, casket, my old friend. <laughs> you, you got this, Mike. I will be seeing. What? You got this. You yeah, got two I, new hips. Yep. Yeah. Does it account that for that? A makes a difference. Mm -hmm. You have cold, clear have urine. You're mm -hmm. good to go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Every sample. <laughs> the researchers have also uh, tied those big aging jumps to the protein levels in our blood. So the next mission is uh, their next mission is figuring out if there's a way to use that knowledge to counteract and slow down the aging process. You're and ahead of it because you're on the keto torpedo. I'm really excited about, and I do feel better. I feel better, like with uh, perception and yeah. all that stuff, and uh, looking at stuff. The bedroom. Birds. 
birds. The bedroom. Oh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. No slowing down there. Yes. <laughs> liar, 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 liar. Uh, two different products were just pulled because they showed Christmas characters doing things. Doing things. No, no. Go ahead, pull it. That people don't really expect Christmas characters to be doing. I'm sorry this is such a long news, but it's these fine. are all good stories. Check them out. Walmart Canada apologized after they let a third-party company sell a Christmas sweater on their website that showed a snowman dressed as Santa doing lines of coke with the tagline, let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> and what's wrong with that? Who knows? Uh, Sycamore Brewing in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, pulled its Christmas cookie winter ale that showed 8-bit graphics versions of cartoon reindeer in different sexual positions on the can. Mm. Yeah. Well, then. People are great. Don't do that. Uh, they could also be facing a fine. And now a little something, something. Yes. A 32-year-old woman named Skylar Williams from Wyandanch in Long Island. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yeah. Uh, she went into a TGI Fridays last week and ordered their endless apps. And uh, she tried to get a bunch of the appetizers to take home in a doggy bag. Uh, that's not good all-you-can-eat etiquette. Right. And most restaurants aren't going to let you do it. But uh, when they told her no, oh, Skylar went behind the bar. She had a fit. Oh. She tried to grab her own to-go container. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Then she swung a bottle of liquor at an employee who tried to stop her. Then when the cops wanted to get her, she pulled a knife on the employee what? who tried to stop her. Mm. She, of course, was arrested when uh, asked for comment. Skylar said that if you try to take my whiskey glazed chicken sesame strips, I'm going to cut you. There you go. That's uh, Skylar. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Skylar. Skylar. You know, Todd Moore is also offering endless apps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll take a break. Come back with the audio vault on our Bold Day show right here on the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike, talk truffle to me. It's Angie with the Oh My Gosh Show, with the hottest trends in holiday beauty survival from truffle cream to feeling like you're strolling through a serene Japanese forest just by spraying mist on your face. Hey. We also show you how to use your Christmas tree and holiday decorations to do your hair. Also, meal shaming at Thanksgiving dinner. It happened to me. You too can feel the love by subscribing to the Oh My Gosh Show on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Welcome back to the Michael Mary Show, brought to you by Untuck It. It's official. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Holidays 2019. You know what that means? Gifts, baby. Oh, boy. 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 Uh, boy. Sorry about that. Boy. Gifts, oh, boy. It's the most wonderful uh, time. Untuck It. That's what we're here to tell you yes. about. What better gift to give than a stylish shirt that fits just right? You need Untuck It. Unlike most brands, Untucked shirts are actually designed to be worn untucked. Uh, Oscar? Oh, come on! Come on, pony! I adore my Untucked shirts. Not too long, not too short, and the coolest designs on the net. I love the material and the colors. Uh, with more than 50 fit combinations, Untucked shirts look great on tall, short, slim, and athletic guys. Uh, you can find your favorite Untucked style online or check out one of their 80 brick and mortar stores. With Untucked, your shirts will never look baggy, bulgy, too long, or too big again. So, whether you're shopping for the perfect holiday gift or just trying to craft a smart, relaxed style of I'm your own, smart. Untuck It is the way to go. Visit untuckit.com and use the code TMOS for 20% off at checkout. That's U N T U C K I T.com and promo code 20% for uh, promo code uh, TMOS for 20% off. Sorry, I'm having a good time. I can't read anymore. <clears throat> it's because I'm 60. Uh, let's, uh, oh. let's open up the audio vault. I got to get out of here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not catch Saturday Night Live this weekend. I will watch it. JLo was your host. And there is one clip that went viral. And it's. It, I watched the clip this morning. It's pretty funny. The Pete Davidson. Yeah, one? because yeah. They, they. It they was just, funny. I watched the whole thing. Making fun of the fact that Pete mm -hmm. Davidson scores amazing women. Oh, yeah, or was yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. Was, or was he doing the character? That was this? He one was, where but I feel. But I feel. It no, was no, 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 no. You got it wrong. I got to tell you that this is a regular bit he does. Well, I know it's this his, his character, but I think the it bit, also the bit is the kid that that just goes. I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. And that is kind of like Pete Davidson. Yeah, right? but I you do know? feel that it's also sort of a nod to the fact that he's dated all these amazing women. Because maybe, but but I, I have to be honest with you. Yes, of course it is. Right, but it's also it the is a character he does bit they do, and it was so. Funny. It's right. His name is Chad, and this is him talking to uh, <laughs> J Lo, and a special appearance by Mr. J Lo. My eyes on you. Hello. What up? What's your name? 
Chad. I used to put a name to that handsome face. <laughs> Who are you? Jennifer Lopez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I sing here. Did you hear any of me singing? Yeah. Did you like what you heard? No. I shouldn't have these feelings for you, Chad. I just got engaged. Oh, congrats. And I'm in love with Alex. Who that? A-Rod. <laughs> Rod. Part of me just wants to say screw it and make crazy love to you on this stage right here. Jen? Alex! <laughs> I hope you're happy. Alex, wait! Chad, I have to go after him. Okay. Goodbye, Chad. Goodbye, Jello. <laughs> it's actually a little I compressed a little bit. It was and he burps and farts in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. It's Chad. Bye, Jello. It's a great bit. It's the best use of Pete Davidson on that show. <laughs> okay, not. this is extraordinarily sweet. A baby was born in September with extreme hearing loss. Basically deaf. Mm -hmm. But they were able to give it fit this little baby, this infant with hearing aids. And when they turn the hearing aids on, the baby hears itself for the first time oh. and and laughs and and oh. coos this is oh God, this is cry. amazing okay so just turn your hearing on should you say hello to everybody should you say hello oh. that's a very loud hello So it's just amazing. It's, wow. It's, it's really cool. Amazing. I All love right. that. Um, congratulations to Steve scary Harvey. Too, right? Why is it scary? It sounded like, uh, like just like a, a dinosaur. Like, Oscar yeah, like, no, no. So, like Oscar's looking through like me. Jurassic World. This is where people say, Do you guys lose anything like doing the doing it on camera? No, mm. sometimes it's enhanced. All I'm doing like, is it's like when Oscar the Velociraptor comes out of the egg. He must never procreate. <laughs> he must never. <laughs> no, but I get it. I just, F dinosaur. I mean, look, it's a beautiful moment, but they could also use it in Hollywood. That's all I'm saying. I hate this job sometimes. Sometimes it's very fun. Sometimes not. Uh, congratulations to Steve Harvey, who got the announcement right on Miss Universe last night. Uh, our new Miss Universe, Mike? Yeah. The new Miss Universe is... South Africa! Oh, that's wonderful. And she is beautiful, yeah. but also it makes me she wonder. Gorgeous. She's she's a knockout, Mike. Uh, the thing that makes me wonder is that nowhere would they say her name. She's just the lady from South Africa. Yeah, well, see, he screwed up again. They yeah. should they, yeah. they should say her. What is the moment of truth? Why does Steve Harvey have a problem with the moment of truth? I, mean, I don't the man know. Is richer than Jesus. He gets all the gigs. Why can't he just get this right? Also, you think he'd have like an IFB that's just going to like tell you what to say? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right. Like Brando. Mention her name. Yes, her name. Mention her name. Like yeah. Marlon Brando's last movies where they would just tell him what to say and then he'd say it. In his in his earpiece. Yeah. Right? The freshman. Yeah. You can actually see oh, the earpiece oh. in the freshman. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Can I we see? hear the baby dinosaur again? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So just turn your hearing on. Should you say hello to everybody? Should you say hello? Oh. That's a very loud hello. Shoot so her! Shoot her! <laughs> His soul is darker than a million midnight. That's horrible. Yes. Mine too, and I played the chimp. I'm I know, sorry. I know. That's terrible. Um, let's go, Mike. <laughs> As an, answer to, as an answer to Steve Perry, I like to go with the classic Please. version of Silver Bells, if that's okay. Here's Matt Bloom. Silver Bells. <laughs> shoot her. My favorite. Silver Bells. <laughs> Perfect pitch. It's Christmas time in the city. Perfect pitch. It I'm is. sorry, it works. Ring a ling. Hear them ring. Soon it will be. Christmas Day. Day. Should you say hello to everybody? Should you say hello? Dressed in holiday style. In the air, there's a feeling. It's a very loud show. It's the weirdest show I've ever heard. I could listen for days, but I won't. <laughs> That's your magic audio involved. <laughs> Have a great Monday, everybody. Oh, my goodness. We're all getting in trouble for that one. Thank you. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, congratulations to the entire crew on the uh, the fruitcake. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I love my crew.
from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for all those wonderful uh, wishes to us online over the weekend. They made a world of difference to me in my life. Thank you. Uh, that's it. We'll have another brand new one for you tomorrow. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com and clicking on the red bonus banner. Buy it or give it. Either way, you're helping out TMOS, and that's a good thing. Thank you, and go in peace. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. We were trapped. There he stood, between us and the alley. Scott Farkas staring out at us with his yellow eyes. He had yellow eyes, so help me, God, yellow eyes. Oh, hi.